In this video, we're going to be looking at how to import the data into Access. The first thing you need to have done is created your tables already. So I've created my tables, as you can see, and there's no data in any of them, um, which is all great. Before you do the import, it's worth doing a few uh, final checks. The first check to make is to make sure that you have got the um, fields in the right order, you've set the prime key correctly, and you've got the correct data types. These are three main things that can cause it to fail. Also, you might be tempted to set up the relationships. As you can see, I have not set up my relationships yet. I always find it's easier to set the relationships after the data has been imported rather than before. As long as you've set up your tables correctly um, and the import has succeeded, the relationships will be uh, an easy job to do afterwards. You may wish to put your validation rules in first, but one thing that will happen is when you are importing the data and your validation rules are incorrect, it could cause the, um, the import to fail. I prefer to do my validation rules afterwards um, rather than beforehand. Anyway, to get the data imported, you go to data, uh, external data, uh, click on text file, and then you browse for the text file. So I'm going to uh, do the members one first because that's the easiest one to do. And then I'm going to append a copy to a table. I'm going to choose my member table. I then click on OK. And I'll make sure I've chose delimited. And this is important. Ensure you click on first row contains field names. Click on next. And then before you click on finish, click on advanced. And then Scroll down and just make sure everything is correct. Now, um, make sure your date order is correct, so uh, that the date, month, year, uh, four digit years. Um, if you're not sure, you can always check your data. If you remember, you will have imported it into Excel if you've followed my um, pattern. As you can see, it's doing uh, day, month, year, which is correct. Um, also, make sure that um, you skip any fields that shouldn't be in there. In this case, because this data file contains nothing but member data, uh, I can leave it as it is. Click on OK and click on Finish. It'll then do the imports and I can check its work by just double clicking on Member and just scanning through to make sure things are OK. If you've put your validation rule in first before you have uh, did the imports, what might happen is that some of the fields won't be blank or you might get some random error messages. Next one I'm going to do is film. Now before I do it, I'm going to do one a little trick. Now I already know that my film table has duplicates or the data has duplicates in the text file. So what I can do is I'm going to click on the um, film ID because I know that's the prime key. I'm going to click on filter and I'm just going to click on it and see how many I've got. This will give me a list of all unique ones. This will just give me an idea when I do the import whether I've got the right number in there or not because the idea is that I never duplicate the primary key. You can do this with any of the primary keys just to give you an idea of how many records you are expecting. Sometimes if you did it for example in username you might get quite a number. If you go onto the members table and do that again, you might get quite a number of fields. Sometimes you'll get hundreds. Anyway, let's go back to access and I'm now going to import the film data. Now because I'm only expecting a few, uh, in this case eight, I can check that when I do it. So I'm going to choose the films exam I'm going to append a copy to film, I click on OK. I make sure it's delimited, I click first row contains field names and headings, click on next, and then before I click on finish, I click on advanced, make sure everything's uh, selected, and this time I am going to skip a few things out. Now, the film ID goes with film, title goes with film, genre goes with film, film month goes with film, but the rest of this stuff does not. So I'm going to tick on it and essentially skip it out. Click on OK. Then I click on Finish. Now, you will get an error message. Just click on Yes. 
I then go to the film table and have a look, see what I've got. Now, as you can see, I've only got uh, eight films in here. But actually, if we look at the primary keys, the number I had, and then look again at my original data, actually, that's exactly the number I should have. One of the benefits of using Excel um, is that I can check to see if the data numbers are correct. In the exam, you will get marks on how many records get imported, so you must always take a screenshot of the record numbers um, so they can see and that it's the bottom bit here of the page that tells them how many. Okay, So you make sure whenever you do a screenshot, you always include that bit, because if you don't, you're throwing away easy marks. You might have done it correctly, um, but they won't give you marks unless you take that screenshot. Anyway, I'm going to do payment as well, just to um, show you how to do it. So again, I go to text file, I choose a file again, so it's films again. Um, sometimes you'll get data from the same text file. I append a copy to my payment table, click on OK. Uh, it's delimited, yes. First row contains field names, yes. Click on Next. I click on Advanced, don't click on Finish. And then I only include stuff that should be in the payment table. So film ID should be, title won't be, Neville Jarma, film month, review no, username, yes. <clears throat> Date paid, yes. Amount paid, yes. Payment ID, yes. Comments, no. That should be the review table. Uh, and none of the rest of these should be in. So I click on OK. I click on Finish. <clears throat> I click on Close. You won't always get an error message. So here we go. You see that's come through and I've got 35 records.